Welcome everyone to my least video review. This is on a squad bread. The last figure I needed so I was able to finally get her. The box art is very disappointing. I mean it, when it's like this it looks fine. But the moment you turn it around you see that they reuse the same boxes as the other three A squad rangers. It's pretty much Blue's helmet repainted their respective color. Even the back here it's the figure has um, Blue's helmet is just painted red. That's what they did pretty much for all four or all three A Squad Rangers. I mean, I'm not a mint in box collector, but for the people that are, it's very disappointing because they have this really inaccurate box art. But aside from the box art, the figure looks amazing. I can't wait to. Uh, open it up and um, show her with the rest of the A Squad Rangers. It's going to look really cool. Plus, this is our first um, female Red Ranger, followed by Lauren and Power Ranger Sam Samurai. So this is going to be uh, pretty awesome. I can't wait to have all of them together. So here's the A Squad Red Ranger out of the packaging. So before I start, I actually do want to give a backstory on who the A-Squad are. I did that with all my A-Squad reviews. The reason being is uh, A-Squad isn't a major team like Power Rangers SPD or Power Rangers Time Force. They're just another task force team within a season. So for people who haven't seen SPD may not be familiar with who these Rangers are. So I'd like to give a bit of a backstory. So, of course, there are spoilers alert if you guys haven't seen SPD. So, of course, like I said, they're from Paragus SPD and they're known as the A Squad Ranger. So, the SPD kind of worked in ranks. So, you had the A, A Squad team, then you had the B Squad, C Squad, D Squad, and so forth. And um, the A Squad were the Rangers that were. That Kruger called on to fight crime and uh, how it worked is I believe they went missing in action when they were called on for some kind of mission and when they went missing that's when Kruger recruited uh, Z Jack, Z and all those other rangers and as time went on it was revealed towards the end of the season that they were actually working with Grum and they have gone gone rogue and they pretty much um, fought with SPD V squad and there was a huge battle that took place and that's pretty much the backstory of them and also Paragus SPD was notorious for little easter eggs using um, things from past ranger seasons that's why they look like Paragus and Space slash Mega Ranger helmets on random black armor so they used the helmets from that season for a squad and there were also other easter eggs there so so this is uh, one of them pretty much the same helmet from mega ranger and space they just instead of the white outline they have silver and they have other add-ons to the helmet so that's why they kind of they resemble the space slash mega ranger so anyways, enough of me talking and rambling about who they are. Um, let's get on to the figure. So the actual figure looks like. I'll bring it close up so you guys can see. It's so funny because when I received this figure, for a second there it slipped my mind that A Squad Red is a female. And I was taken back and was like, I was like, wait, why is Red a female? And then it, uh, later it hit me like, oh yeah, A Squad is different. I wish she had more female Red Rangers, that would have been so cool. So, she comes with the um, same gun, the other... Oh, sorry, let me stand her up. She comes with the same gun, the other A-Squad Rangers come with. It's pretty much the same black gun with their respective colors on it. She comes with this effect piece. Honestly, these effect pieces are so useless. For every ranger I've got these four, it does not stay on the gun properly, it easily falls off. She also came with two different hands. So you have the wrist, sorry not wrist, I meant to say 
the punching hand. And we have the sand here. You can use for the karate chop hand. Or with the other rangers, you can't really do that with her because you didn't get a human head. But with the other rangers, you could actually use this to get the figure to hold the helmet at, while you have the civilian head on them. But that wouldn't be applicable to this figure because the squad figures did not come with a human head. So that's what it looks like. And the articulation for these figures are pretty much the same as every lightning figure. You move the arms side to side. It's a little bit... Usually with the new figures, it's kind of tight. Move it up, down, by the elbow, up and down. You're going to rotate it from there. You can rotate the individual glove. The glove as well, you can kind of move it around. It's a bit stiff. The helmet, you can move it up, down. Rotate it. Chest also has articulation, but not too much because this um, armor piece is separate from the figure. So that it kind of hinders the chest movements. Leg two, you can move it side to side, up, down, a 360 rotation. The knee is also double jointed, which is pretty cool. You kind of move like so, and even the boot, you can kind of move it around. So yes, they have the standard articulation there. This is what she looks like. It's really cool. It's kind of a bummer because I really like Charlie. That was the her name. But it being cool to have human uh, heads for them. But I'm not complaining because we never got an S uh, a squad team when with uh, SPD's original run, so really cool of Hasbro to uh, put these out in the Lightning Collection. So here I have all five A-Squad Rangers. They look pretty cool together as a team. I tried to get the guns symmetrical, but unfortunately the guns are a little bit too heavy for the females, so their arms just either f fall down or it leans to one side, so it's kind of hard to get it all right. I also tried to have all the effect pieces on there, so it would look cool having the multicolored effect, but again, the effect pieces are garbage because they fall off easily, and I gave up after trying to get it all five on. Now, if I had to choose a favorite figure, I would definitely say Red, because I love the whole female Red Ranger thing, because we only had that, like, twice, and both times they were just part-time red rangers so but still charlie was a really cool character if i had to choose the least favorite figure definitely blue because hasper definitely uh, dropped the ball on that one because uh instead of having silver outlining on the helmet they had they left him with white so yeah he really stands out like a sore thumb now for uh prices and where you can get a squad red a Squad Red is already out in uh, the US. It was actually out for a while now and recently it hit Canada I think at the end of February. But right now you can only get it off GameStop.ca. But make sure you spend at least $35 because if anything less they will charge you $7 for shipping. And right now I don't know of any other store that sells the A Squad figures, except for GameStop. I mean, I haven't visited a Toys R Us in a while, so I'm not too sure what their current status is. Um, but yes, GameStop.ca. I know um, pink and yellow, you can get them at the GameStop store. Green, you can, uh, you'll have, it's a Best Buy exclusive, apparently. So you'll have to do that through Best Buy and blue was released a while ago and um, I don't know where you could get him if you're in the US but recently I found out uh, you can get the two package as SPD uh, B Squad Blue Range and the A Squad Blue Ranger from this game store called Mines Games and Mines or Mines and Games I might be saying it wrong but it sells all sorts of like 
unique board games and everything. It's a really cool store. Um, so yes, they have that two pack, and they also have the old two pack with Astronema and the Red Ranger, and it's like at retail. They're not overcharging you. They're, it's like forty four dollars. It's a decent price. So if you guys missed out on the um, SPD two pack, and you guys want to get it and you're canadian you can easily get it from that mines and game store uh, again i might be saying the name wrong um i do apologize but i did i actually saw it the other day so is there you have it a squad complete and it makes me think like they never incorporated mega silver or space silver into the a squad team it made me think if it would have been a squad silver or if they would have changed the color like they did with black to green if they would have made him a squad gold so that's something to think about that's actually really cool or who knows they might have even made him a squad white but i feel like they would have gone a squad gold because gold has some more of a nice ring to it than white and yeah i think they would have done gold over silver because uh they already have silver accents that are going on but yeah that was that was actually something to think about that would have been really amazing and i wonder if somebody even did a custom i actually that would have been really cool i feel like that's a custom uh, that i would love to see i suck when it comes to doing customs or painting so i don't even try to attempt it but yeah that would have that's uh, definitely a custom i really want to see Anyways, as usual, thank you guys so much for watching my videos, as always, and uh, please like, subscribe, and um, comment, it really does help. And uh, yeah, and I was able to get a Tenga figure the other day, so the next review is going to be a villain review, so that's going to be interesting. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.